YouTube, YouTube, what did you two down on News TV? I am your host, Trey. Got an article coming from Fox News once again. Title is Biden anger towards elites in MSNBC interviews raises eyebrows. I think they got a video clip. I'm going to get into the article first. On an MSNBC program that favorite. That's a favorite of the Washington and New York liberal establishment. President Biden blasts elites and Democratic Party on Monday who are trying to force him out of the 2024 race. And some criticisms and media observers sympathetic to him are buying it. As he wrapped up a lengthy phone and interview on The Morning Joe Biden challenged his own party doubters as a empathetically declared he was trying empathetically declared he was trying he was I can't read today he was staying in the 2024 race <clears throat> I'm getting so frustrated by the elites he told MSNBC hosts and Biden supporters Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski now I'm talking to you guys about it but by the elites in the party who they know so much more if any of these guys didn't think I should run, run against me. Go ahead. Announce for president. Challenge me at the convention. <clears throat> Earlier in the interview, Brzezinski name dropped outlets who wanted him to step aside amid concerns about his viability against the former President Trump. Such as the New York Times, the Economist, the Atlantic Journal, Constitution, and the Boston Globe. There have also been some House Democrats who have called for him to not seek re-election, as well as prominent liberal names like Tim Ryan, James Carville, Carville, and David, David Axelrod. <clears throat> They're big names, but I don't care what those big names think, Biden said. They were wrong in 2020. They were wrong in 2022 about the red wave. They're going to be wrong in 2024. Come out with me. Watch people react. You make the judgment. NBC's Chuck Todd was skeptical about Biden's rhetoric afterward, knowing that Biden had sailed to the Democratic nomination without a serious challenger. Rep. Dean Phillips, Democrat out of Minnesota, voiced concerns about Biden's age and health as part of his primary campaign. <clears throat> but he never remotely threatened the president's chance of winning the nomination. Biden's anger at the elites is, bis is a bit misplaced, Todd wrote on X. Without the elites, he would have had a serious primary foe. Without the elites, the no-labels effort would have a compelling ticket. Arguably, it's the elites who put too much faith in Biden that got the Dems in this position. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Ding, ding, ding. The Atlantic's Tim Alberta agreed. The elites assured Biden's nomination by refusing to go on record with the grave concerns they whispered in the private. Indeed, that was once considered a taboo media subject has exploded into the open since Biden's halting debate showing last month. Reports of his behind-the-scenes decline have come flooding out of the same media outlets. That had decried recent bite. Videos of Biden looking confused as cheap fakes blasted the Wall Street Journal story on Biden's cognitive issues a month earlier and assailed special counsel Robert Hur's report in February that questioned Biden's memory. Yeah, I remember Robert Hur's uh, statement saying that Biden cannot be held liable for taking the documents because of his age or something to that effect don't quote me but there's something like that but on the other hand they went full blast on the former president crazy that is crazy but a lot of I guess they would call it right wing media outlets they was talking about um, the current president's health and cognitive abilities. Before he was even elected, I want to say, 
<clears throat> there are videos floating around with Biden doing unordinary, <clears throat> unordinary things, some would say, but I don't know. You can't. What's this? What's the saying? I'm not. Sh I'm pretty sure they was right when they was stating those things a few years back, but when they had Trump go through all his, or they wanted Trump to have his cognitive test and health documents released to the public, and Trump was bragging about how he aced his exam or something like that. But now that the shoe is on other foot. The uh, president, he just makes statements saying that he's healthy as a horse. He gets tested every day by his doctors and they agree that he's healthy to continue serving. But it's, it's just back and forth, honestly. But I'd be surprised if he's willing to actually take a cognitive test. That would be surprising. But listen to the video. Oh, it's almost done. I'm restarted. Hopefully there's no commercials. Publicly saying before, I was one of the few people out there publicly saying before the 2022 election, there will be no red wave. There will be no red wave. Because I've been all over the country. I didn't believe it at all. And then in 2023, the key elections, I went into those races. Not every one of them, but a lot of them. And I said we were going to win. Look at we won those. So Joe, it wasn't just that it didn't happen. I was predicting beforehand it would not happen because I've got a pretty good political instinct and I. And here's the deal. It's not gonna happen here this time around. The American public is not going to move away from me as the average voter. And again, I'm here for two reasons, pal. One, to rebuild the economy for hardworking middle-class people, give everybody a shot. It's a straight shot. Everybody gets a fair chance, number one. Number two, remember all this talk about how I don't have the black support? Come on, give me a break. Come, Come with me, watch, watch. I'm getting so frustrated by, by the elite. Now I'm not talking about you guys, but about the elite in the party who they know so much more. But any of these guys yeah. don't think I should let them run against me. Go ahead, announce the, announce the president. Challenge me in the convention. And just remember to any of my black audience members, if you don't vote for Biden, then you ain't black. Down Home News TV, I'm Dre.